Hey everyone, Coach White here. Uh, doing a virtual uh, Lingo football parent meeting. We'll have one in August when we get closer to the season starting. But I'd like to get that information out to you as quick as I can. So we'll we'll get going on this. Obviously, our philosophy at Lingo, we want to create an environment of hard work, competitiveness, and an attitude of gratitude. While giving young men the necessary tools to succeed in life through academics and athletics, we are student athletes, students first, then at, then athletics. Uh, these are some of the things we believe in. One standard, being good at very few things, build around the strengths of our players, uh, strain players to be the best they can be. We want to try to outwork our opponents. We want to play with sportsmanship and class. Uh, we've been doing this long enough. Sometimes we win, sometimes we lose. Uh, either way, you want to handle it with class. Uh, obviously, we're a middle school program, so we focus on player development. We're not so concerned on winning and losing as much as we focus on trying to get better. Um, obviously, it's football, so the strategy, we always want to be able to run the ball and try to stop the run. We want to be mentally and physically tough. Uh, we know that, that th not everything's going to go our way, uh, so we want to work around that. And we obviously want to have great relationships with the players and the coaches. Our values, uh, it's meant to be fun. Uh, we, we, want to, we want to have fun when we're playing. Uh, we want to be mindful. We want to stay in the moment. Focus on the process. Be grateful for the opportunity. Uh, we play at beautiful facilities. We play against really good opponents. Uh, it's a great opportunity to get better. Uh, compassion. Show how much you care. Um, obviously, it's a competition. We compete, we keep score, we make sure there's winners and losers, uh, but if you compete in sports, uh, sometimes you end up on the right side of it, sometimes you end up on the other side of it. Um, I think you can learn from, uh, I think we tend to learn more from our losses than we do our wins, um, and we always practice better after losses than we do wins. So, uh, Some of our player expectations, we want them to be great in school, in the classroom. You, we want them to be on time, be attentive, respect the teachers. We have a team goal of a 3.0 GPA. Uh, in my time at Lingle, uh, it's been 11 years and 13 years as a, a coach. Um, we really do focus on what we can accomplish in the classroom, and we take pride in that. I want to say a couple of years ago, we had a group that I think among 40 players on the team, we only had five grades lower than a C. Uh, on that team, or, or five grades lower than a B on that particular team. Um, we always work on our bodies. We do weight run. We do speed and agility training. Um, we, we want you to be on time. We want you to take care of your body. Uh, obviously, we want you to hydrate. It, it, a lot of times we're practicing. It's 96, 97 degrees. We, we had, we're at Heritage Camp the other day, and, and quite a few of our kids were already getting sick. Uh, obviously, being on a turf field at the heat, it's it's a lot, so you got to make sure you hydrate before you practice a day ahead of time and continue to hydrate and, and try to eat the right things, especially before practicing. Um, we want to prepare for greatness. Give the best effort you can. Uh, the one thing we'll talk about is obviously you control your attitude. Um, you know, the discipline, little things lead to greatness. Um, generally, when you have good weeks of practice, you play well. When you have uh, poor weeks of practice, you tend not to play well. And we always want to try to be unselfish as coaches and players. We always want to try to put the team first. Um, and it's a long season, so we, you know it's up and ups and downs. We work on that. Uh, one of the things that we have a lot of issues with, and, and this, they're always changing instructions. They're always updating it, trying to make it better. Some of you have, have done it in the past. You, you've mastered Dragonfly Max. Uh, I've been doing it for a long time, and it, it seems like it... it they update it, but it seems like it's still hard to get to work correctly. Um, before I even made this video, I was trying to look and see who was on there, and there were multiple accounts and all sorts of different things. But every year you have to re-sign all the paperwork and make sure everything's up to date in order to play or to practice. Uh, give you some leeway as long as you have a physical. Um, but before you can play in an in a event, you do have to have all this in information in Dragonfly, especially where we're going to be in Fort Smith and if something happens, we have to have access to the health information immediately on the field. Um, I've shared this with you, um, and uh, I'll continue to share it with you in Google Classroom in any way we possibly can. Uh, and the last thing, 
We have um, Mark Strickland does our photos. I talked to him the other day. He hasn't set up a date for when we're going to do it, but um, you, I put a link to this. Um, this is the Lingo Football website page, um, and you should uh, you can click on it, and um, it's it has everything you need. If you have the Google Classroom, you can go to this page, and any question you have, usually you can find the answer. If not, just send me an email. Um, but this is where all the information you could possibly need is located. So you click on it. Uh, it has the game schedule, has the practice schedule, has the Dragonfly Max instructions, has the physical, the Triple SA physical forms. Uh, we also uh, have a YouTube channel. We broadcasted a game last year. We're hoping to broadcast all our home games as well as our road games. So sometimes you have family that's out of town and they or. Uh, that lives far away and they want to watch the game, hopefully we'll have it available for you on YouTube. Um, this year we should be broadcasting our five home games and some of the other schools, if we can get it uh, hooked up, we'll, we'll try to get our road games broadcasted or put up online as quickly as we can. Um, so like I said, we have our own Lingo Football YouTube channel. Uh, we, we stream some of the games and then in every year we run out of... Um, space and huddle so we have to delete some of the footage and I take the time and try to put all the old film up on YouTube so that 10 years from now if you want to find your old Lingle highlights you should be able to access them on YouTube. Uh, I generally don't put them up as much during the season um, but I, I, other teams could get our film multiple away so maybe in, maybe I'll just put the film up there and if someone gains a little bit of advantage so be it. Um, but we, we try to record some practices and some of the kids working hard and, uh, it's a good way to get, get the information out so you can see what we're doing. Um, this, uh, we're on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, I don't, I know like when I told the kids last year we're on Twitter, they're like, we don't use that. So I understand that we're trying to stay up to speed with stuff, but it seems like Google Classrooms works for us. Uh, Remind works for us. Uh, the district is trying to come up with a one one particular way of doing things. So hopefully they pick Remind. If not, we'll have to switch to another uh, another program that does sort of the same thing. If you click on this, seven, uh, eighth grade 7A West football, it will bring you to um, the standings and, and show you the schedule for all the different teams. Um, and it th usually updates the next day after the, the games are over. But you can see maps and directions to all the facilities and um you know, if, you, if you're a seventh grade parent, it is uh, information that can be really helpful. So you have access to that with the, uh, the Lingle football page. And then obviously, these are the four coaches and you can uh, email any of us at any time. We're pretty good about getting back to you. Um, you know, I, I try to shut it down at night, so I'm not on it around the clock. But usually if, I, if you don't hear back from me, if you email me at night, Usually first thing in the morning, I'll get back to you. Uh, we will have a meeting in person. Uh, I don't know where and when yet. Um, obviously, we have some different challenges this year, but uh, it's been unfortunate. We've been to, we've been able to practice at Heritage more already this summer than we have in the 13 years I've been here, and I think it gives the kids a huge advantage to practice on a turf field and practice in a stadium, and um, we will be practicing there starting August 5th when football season starts. And if you have any questions or comments, don't reach out. Please feel free to reach out to me and uh, or any other coaches, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you.